Hey guys, I just have a kind of small Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I wasn't planning on doing it tonight, but I don't know. I'm just sitting here. It's a Saturday night right now when I am recording this, and the hubby is in Minnesota right now. Um, I don't have my hubby here this weekend, and honestly, that sucks. Um... Yeah, I look forward to our weekends hanging out together, and yeah, so I'm feeling kind of bummed out, and I thought, well, why not come hang out with my girls, or maybe guys are in here too. I don't know. I really don't know. According to YouTube analytics, most of y'all are females, so figured I would just, you know, come check in with you guys, and I love doing Dollar Tree hauls. They make me happy, so... Yeah, I'm going to do one now. And I went to um, a couple of Dollar Trees this morning. I went to one closest to me that opens at 8 o'clock. And yesterday, uh, Matt said he actually went to Dollar Tree or tried going to this Dollar Tree. And it was shut down for, like, inventory or I don't know what. They, it was closed down for a day. So I said to myself, girl... You had better get there first thing in the morning because maybe with it being shut down all day, they would have, you know, time to put a bunch of stuff out. And I was very happy I did because I found a lot of really, really awesome things. So I'm just doing a portion of what I found. There'll be some more Dollar Tree videos to show the rest of it, but I just couldn't wait. I wanted to show you guys what I found so you can get out there and you can try to find this stuff because let me tell you. All right. I hope you guys are all doing really good. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, just, you know, real talk right here. You know, my channel name is the trucker's wife loves life. And I do, you guys. I love my life. I don't have an extravagant life. Um, but I love my life as far as I love my partner. I love our life together. I love our little house. And, but I still deal with anxiety and depression. So it's like such a, you know, juxtaposition, uh, I guess. Is that the word? I don't know. Um... It's like so contradictory to itself. So it's just, it's really hard. It's hard um, being alone a lot. And that's what being a trucker's wife is. And my heart goes out to you ladies. I know I have some sister trucker wives. I almost said sister wives. So I'm like, mm. no, not sister wives. But I know I have some fellow trucker's wives out there. And your hubbies do long haul and Ladies, my heart goes out to you because I don't know how you do it. I have a hard enough time Monday through Friday with my anxiety and depression um, being alone like five days a week, let alone months. If you guys don't know about like the trucking industry, um, long haulers as we call them, they can be out for like two three months at a time, constantly, constantly working. And then they'll come home for like maybe a week and then they turn around and do it all over again. So hats off to you ladies who hold down the fort, you know, keep the kids in line, take care of business. You guys rock. You guys are rock stars for real. Um, but anyway, so I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me because you are my social life. Yes. You, my friends, are my friends. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. It sounds kind of sad, doesn't it? I mean, I have friends, but it's like everybody has their own thing going on. And a lot of my friends have kids. You know, I don't have any um, biological kids. So where other people have that to focus on, I don't have that. So if people have things going on in their lives and they can't just like drop things and hang out with me and whatever. And so I just, I don't really have that like best bud to do all the girl things with. with. So 
thank you, hubby, because he does all the things with me. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling tonight, aren't I? You're you're getting the you're getting the nitty gritty on my crazy. Yes, my crazy. Um, but let's get into this so I can show you what I got. And in case you're wondering about my hair, this is a wig, you guys. I got it off Amazon for super cheap. And I wish my hair was this thick because I would totally get this dye job done. But I'm 45, going to be 46 this year. Hair is thinning. And I'm thinking about starting to just wear wigs. And I can, like, do all kinds of colors. I got a couple other wigs that are other colors, too. So, um, I'll be testing those out and showing you guys. But, okay, okay, okay. I know. I keep saying, let's get into this. Um, so, the first thing I found was this OOK brand. Can you guys see it? And these here are cleansing bubble pads with willow bark and white tea. Um... I don't know how many are in here. I'm going to open one of these up, though. Now, while I was in Dollar Tree... Ooh, cute packaging. Look at that. While I was in Dollar Tree, I was Googling these, and their products were coming up. Some of them were coming up on Ulta. Um, there were a lot of them online, and the minimum price I found for all the things I'm showing you, they went from $6 and up. Some of them were selling them for like $12, $15, so really good deal for a dollar. And you guys, I still don't know how many are in here. <clears throat> and cleansing bubble pads but they seem dry let's see maybe it's like built in i don't know and it has like this pocket here so maybe they're intended to put your um face wash in I, i'm thinking that's what it is and they're infused with willow bark and white tea but I mean, for a dollar, I think that's pretty cool. So, I did end up getting two of them. And then, ugh. I just want to get them all out at the same time. Okay, so they had a bunch of masks, you guys. A bunch of them. And I got some duplicates of them. Um, so this one is Brightening Gemstone Mini Mask. And they say that they're made with quartz extract. So you got that there. And then this one, Replenishing Jeju Island Hydrogel Mask with Jeju Prickly Pear and Green Tea. I love the packaging on these. And I grabbed a couple of these, a uh, three-step mask, oil controlling T-zone mask. And then up here, you've got another um, pocket that has foaming face wash. And then in here, you have your precision buffing pad. So your whole little three-step kit. And I grabbed a couple of those. And... Let's see, this one I already showed you. And then they had these firming, oops, <laughs> firming caffeine body mask with coffee bean and noni fruit extract. And I grabbed a couple of those. And this is another one of the um, gemstone mini masks, but this one is with citrine extract. And then... <laughs> They had this mask too, Jinju, and that was also a brand name, and this one is, says it's a fiber mask, <clears throat> cucumber sheet mask, ultra smooth, so nice masks. And then they had these Spa Life, there are six masks in here you guys, they're hydrating facial masks. Um, bee venom and shea butter and manuka honey. So I thought that was really interesting. And it says anti-aging and helps firm and hydrate. 
So six masks in there. That's really good. So I grabbed a couple of those. And what else? Um, I think I had a couple other things, but I think they're in one of my other bags. So they had these Vagisil bath bombs. And I gotta say, you guys, so of course they say like not to use too many bath bombs because it can mess with your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your pH down there and make things funky. Um, but these say that these are, you know, safe for not causing any vag issues. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> and it's, I can smell it out of the, like, I haven't even opened it up and it smells so good. I didn't realize how good it smelled in the store, but as I was driving home, I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what's that smell? Did something like come open? Oh my gosh. But no, it's this bath bomb and it's like a peachy, a really nice peachy floral type of scent to it. So yeah, I hope now that if I go again, I will find some more. Um, I picked up some things for the littles. So I have, um, I have several great nieces and a great nephew. And um, so two of my great nieces are four years old and my great nephew, he's I believe five or six years old. So I picked up some things, you know, I always see these cute um, things for kids and it sucks because I wish I had a little one of my own, but since I don't, I will, you know, get these so I can share that with them. But the two little girls, they love Jojo Siwa. So they had these little Jojo Siwa lip balms. So I got one each for them. And then for Tyler, I got a little Paw Patrol one. Thought that was cute. And then again, for the little girls, I got these um, blind bag lip glosses. Ugh, and I'm sitting on the floor and I never sit on the floor because it kills my back. Ugh. <laughs> getting old. This girl is getting old. And then I found this. I thought it was really cute. It's a poppin' toothbrush. It's made, it's from the Brush Buddies. So it's like this little, I hope you guys can see that. It's like a little toothbrush and that little head comes off of it. But I got it because it was a cow and oh my gosh, it's so cute. I had to get it because um, my one great niece, Annabeth, she's just such like a little country farm girl and... I think she'll get a kick out of the little moo moo there. Oh, and here is another OOK product I found. This is a sleep mask and it's 50 milliliter size. And this says overnight hydration with hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is really good. It's supposed to help diminish fine lines and, um, give your skin like more vibrance so we shall see and then more stuff for the little ones again with the jojo siwa they had these little brush buddies cups with the toothbrush in there so i got one of those for the girls and then they had a Hot Wheels one. So I got that for Tyler. And I found some more Hot Wheels. They're not as cool as the ones I found a few weeks ago that I made a video for showing you guys like what you do with them because they, um, they work together with an app that you put on your phone but these are more of a specialty Hot Wheel and these 
can become collectors, so I grabbed them, and they come in these, like, white packaging. Ah. And these are the ones I picked out. Well, I think I got all the ones that were in the white packaging. So be on the lookout for those. And then um, Matchbox, in the world of, like, cars, I'm pretty sure that Hot Wheels is really the more desired um, car for collecting, but I couldn't pass this little Matchbox one up because it's an ice cream truck. So I thought that was cute. And I'm going to be doing a recipe for coconut chicken curry, low carb. And so this is a great buy. Truly a great buy at Dollar Tree. And this is coconut milk. Um, you guys, this definitely is more expensive in all your regular stores. And this Azul coconut milk, I've bought it before. It's really good. So, yep, I need that to make that recipe. If you're interested in seeing that, make sure you um, come back and look for that. I'm hoping to get it posted um, probably like Monday because I'm going to be cooking it on Sunday. So, a couple of those. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and then just the last bag here that I'm going to show you for tonight. Um, I've never seen these before. These Wizard Air Fresheners, Room Mist, and this one's in Hawaiian Retreat, and this one is in Morning Mist. So, I thought that was a good find. Hmm, I like the way the Green Bottle one smells, and I like the way the Hawaiian Mist one smells, so... Really good find. And these are eight fluid ounces a piece. And then I saw my girl Anna from Only in My Dreams haul these. So I was pretty excited to find these today. And this is scalp tonic for thicker, fuller hair. And I can't, it's kind of dark. I'm in my living room right now. So it's kind of dark and I can't really see the brand. Um, I don't know if this is a Dollar Tree deal. I don't think it is, though. Um, but it says thicker, fuller hair and with organic quinoa and pea sprout. So I picked up a couple of those. Oh, heh. <laughs> I picked up a couple of those because, yeah, my hair, like up front is really really thinning out and I, that's hereditary my mom um, she had thinning hair and I believe my sisters are dealing with that as well and it just sucks because you know our hair is a big deal at least it is to me um, I don't know it makes me I don't know I don't want to get into a whole spiel about it but um, it's just kind of sad. It's one of those things that I am grieving is the hair loss that is going on. But anyhow, the last thing is I found another scent of this Franzia, Clorox Fran, Fran, Fraganzia hand soap. And it's a 14 fluid ounce. It says hand soap refill. So these are pretty nice sized bottles, you guys. And this is in pumpkin spice. So I grabbed two of these and they do smell good so I will have these ready to go when next fall rolls around and you know I want some pumpkin spice in my life but that is it for this haul you guys so I hope you like this haul if you did definitely give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it because it does help me out in the land of YouTube analytics if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet um I would appreciate if you did that as well. And I hope you guys are having a really good weekend. I hope everybody is healthy and in good spirits and all of that. And until next time, you guys, stay safe and be blessed. Bye.